I'm not drunk, little one. He wavered as he took a step forward, and only Flint's strong grip prevented him from falling. No, you look pretty drunk to me, she teased, but stopped when he lifted his head and she saw a tiny trickle of blood spill from his mouth. If he wasn't drunk, then that meant... What happened to you? Ignoring her, Cam stepped forward and helped his friend sit on one of the comfy chairs around the kitchen table. How long have you been like this? he asked, face grim. About two days, Jared groaned and wiped away the blood from his chin. Fuck, did you learn nothing from last time? You need to feed, Cam growled angrily, but there was a trace of desperation in his harsh voice. Feed, Macy asked hesitantly, and Jared looked at her with sad, bloodshot eyes. I'm a Bavan she, lass, he sighed as if that would explain everything. What's a Bavan she? Macy asked, and he sighed again. Oh, don't they teach you anything nowadays? Flint interrupted while putting a wet cloth around Jared's neck. He's an incubus, one of the only ones in existence, and right now he's starving himself again for some fucking noble reason he won't explain. His voice had turned loud and bitter. It's better this way, Jared whispered hoarsely. He seemed to be getting weaker with every minute that passed. What does he need? Macy asked, fearing she already knew the answer. She'd read about incubi, but never thought that they existed here in Scotland. But then she'd grown up beneath the water's surface, far away from all the beings roaming the lands. Hell, she'd only ever learned about humans, and even then meeting them had been a shock. They were so boring. But this bar uh, something was certainly not boring. Not at all. He was hot, sexy, beautiful. His skin invited her to touch and his mouth to kiss, deeply, passionately. She approached him, hips swinging in a silent dance. Her hands wandered to her blouse, slowly unbuttoning it while keeping her eyes fixed on him, her prize. She was going to make him feel good. She was going to make him better. She kneeled down in front of him putting her hands on his knees, spreading his legs to give her better access. Slap! A hand landed on her right cheek, and she yelped. Snap out of it! Someone called, but she didn't care. She put a hand between his legs, feeling the bulge making itself known. He was getting ready for her. She smiled as she reached for his zipper, and screeched as she was pulled back, someone's arms around her chest. Wait, her chest? Boobs. Her nipples hardened at the touch, and she turned around, facing her captor. Cam's stormy grey eyes were fixed on her, so beautiful, so pretty. She stretched until she was on tiptoe and pressed her lips against his. He didn't respond, so she nibbled on his bottom lip just a little to make him open his mouth, and he did, but only to say, Stop it! You will regret this later! She didn't care. She wanted to kiss him, and more to fuck him hard. Someone ripped her away from him and she moaned, needing his touch. Get her into the guest room, Cam shouted, and she was picked up, her arms pressed to her side. She growled in frustration, her nails sharpening into claws. She was going to get her pleasure, even if she had to fight for it. She struggled against the iron grip, pouring some of her kelpie strength into her muscles. She didn't have to fully shift to have the strength of a shifted kelpie. Why hadn't she used that earlier when she was trying to drag her brother's? Stupid. But it didn't matter just now. With a roar, she broke his grip and turned around, pouncing on the man who had stopped her from getting her kiss, and saw Flint, staring at her in surprise. She liked that look on him. Delicious. Totally fuckable.